Hi everyone, this is Alan Paul here. Hope you enjoyed our previous video and a lot of you did comment the answers. So I'll just read out some few comments. Yes, a comment by Suprita. Carbon is the ANS. Yeah, though it's made up of carbon, it's known as... It's known as graphene. Yeah, Chandan got it right. Graphene is one atom thick, conduct electricity better than silver, stronger than steel and index E better than diamond. How do you make graphene by just using a tape, pencil and a paper? This is how it's done. Chetan N did describe the same method. Yep. Something stronger can be created using graphene dot but by using just these three things we can create just its replica. Just scratch on the paper using a pencil dot then stick a tape onto it and remove dot a law you will have the strongest material that can withstand higher pressure and super conductive. But this can only explain the phenomenon but can't match the real one. You did mention the process very properly but there's some problem in his explanation as he told you it's a replica. It's not a replica, that was how graphene was really discovered by Andre Grain and Constantin Novoselic. And that too, they won the Nobel Prize. Your pencil contains layers of graphite. And when you write, layers of graphite do slip on into the paper. But when a single layer of graphite has been found, it's called as graphene. Actually, it was thought that graphene was chemically unstable, at least at room temperature. So what are the uses of graphene? Graphene promises to thin, flexible touchscreens, more faster and energy efficient computers, and more efficient solar cells. This is just the one aspect of nanotechnology. In order to dream big, you need to consider the very small.